Gandhi for me was a visionary who gave us an insight which is both political, spiritual, moral, ethical and economical and which enabled us to get an exit route from a civilization which is crumbling because of technocratic violence, mass culture of consumption, authoritarian personality, mass psychology of fascism and all pervading violence. Spiritualized politics with a very nuanced art of resistance. And that is what I think made Gandhi different from say people like Ramakrishna and Raman Maharshi. They were deeply spiritual. They took spirituality to a very sublime level of, you know, uh, transcendence. But Gandhi dared to see the political realm as a field of his meditation and sadhana. So he tested his spirituality into a very hard political domain. When in the 20s Chauri Chaura incident took place, you know, movement at its peak, but then the police station was on fire, people were getting violent. But Gandhi knew that he would become tremendously unpopular. But he said that I withdraw this movement because he was realizing this is not the way, for example, to conduct a large-scale mass movement because my mass movement ought to involve everybody, peasant, farmer, women, everybody. And if I immediately become violent in my movement, I might get temporal success, but in long term it won't work. And we have to change people, alter people, create a different kind of political, cultural landscape for creating a sustained movement. And that, I believe, is the reason why Gandhi, after coming back from South Africa, till 48th, 30th January, when he was assassinated, he would remain such a center stage, at such a center stage in our political, spiritual culture, political, ethical culture. So I believe tremendously relevant. And it is so important, you know, uh, uh, to recall him, you know, um, and engage with him time and again. And today what you are saying is that, you know, cow-related violence, the mob lynching, mass killing, you know, which is brute, and which is based on certain principle of totalitarianism and which is completely anti-dialogic and which is instinctive and impulsive without any deep vision of social transformation and a sound moral, ethical, political culture, you know, which is the language of the crowd, language of the street, you know. And Gandhi was trying to alter that entire political landscape by a new language and by a new language of resistance.